in uh, problem 22 we have a consumer who lives for uh, two periods the lifetime utility function is uh, u of c1 plus u of c2 upon 1 plus rho okay so utility function is uh, u of c1 plus uh, uh, so u of c1 plus u of c2 upon 1 plus rho and uh, the consumer earns W1, W2 in the two periods, consumption is C1, C2, lifetime budget constraint is this. So, the budget constraint is uh, C1 plus C2 upon 1 plus R is equals to W1 plus W2 upon 1 plus R. Uh, now, assume that uh, this is the value of uh, utility in any period T. Uh, then, if R is less than equals to rho, it follows that. Okay, so further we have been given that utility of any period uh, T is uh, C T to the power 1 minus sigma upon 1 minus sigma. Okay, so this implies overall utility becomes C T to the power 1 minus sigma upon 1 minus sigma plus uh, sorry not C T C 1 plus uh, c2 to the power 1 minus sigma upon 1 minus sigma into 1 minus 1 plus rho ok now from the budget constraint we can get the value of c2 so c2 is equals to uh, w1 minus c1 into 1 plus r plus w2 ok so this thing when it uh, when you substitute it here this would imply utility becomes uh, c1 plus ok this would imply utility equals to c1 to the power of uh, 1 minus sigma upon 1 line 1 minus sigma plus uh, c2 is uh, w1 minus c1 into 1 plus r plus w2 whole to the power 1 minus sigma upon 1 minus sigma into 1 plus rho okay so that's your uh, value of c1 you have to compare c1 and uh, C2 is C1 going to be greater than C2 or not? So, uh, yeah, uh, so this is essentially the relationship between C1 and C2, right? Uh, maybe I can just use this directly, maybe I can just use this connection here to find the value of c1 and c2 so basically i am talking about the budget constraint uh, does budget constraint give me a value mm, no it does not uh, what about uh, mrs let's say mrs okay so mrs is uh, del u by del c1 upon del u by del c2 so this should be equal to del u by del c1 will be equal to 1 my mi 1 minus sigma into c1 to the power minus sigma upon 1 minus sigma whole divided by 1 minus sigma into c2 to the power minus sigma upon 1 minus sigma okay uh, and uh, you have this 1 plus rho here so this should be equal to uh, px upon py so p1 is uh, 1 so this is your price ratio so let me write this as uh, 1 upon 1 upon uh, 1 plus r which is your p1 by p2 okay so this would uh, imply that uh, 
okay now it just cancel out the common parts so c1 1 plus rho into c1 by c2 whole to the power minus sigma is equals to 1 plus r all right which implies c1 by c2 whole to the power minus sigma is equals to 1 plus r upon 1 plus rho now since it has been given uh, that uh, r is greater than equals to rho so this is greater than equals to 1 since r is greater than equals to rho so this implies that uh, c1 by c2 whole to the power minus sigma is greater than equals to 1 which implies that uh, c1 by c2 should be greater than equal to 1 to the power sigma okay and uh, yeah basically since this is a negative sign here okay since we have this uh, negative sign here this would imply that uh, c1 by c2 to the power minus sigma is greater than equals to 1 this implies that uh, c1 by c2 to the power sigma should be less than equals to 1 which implies c1 by c2 uh, should be less than equals to 1 which implies c2 should be greater than equals to c1 okay so that should be your uh, final answer c2 greater than equals to 1